Okay, so the, the very last step, rendering. So uh, when we duplicated that scene earlier, the texturing scene, that's the scene I used to render. Um, so what I do is I set up a whole bunch of cameras and you can uh, bind the cameras to keyframes with control B. And I just animate my scene. I animate the world, the sun, and what is uh, visible. And just like this. And then if we go through all these. You can see all the shots I've got. Yep, we got all our shots. And then for render settings, I rendered with a CPU. Kinda, I don't think I've got enough VRAM to load all these textures into the GPU. So anyway, CPU rendered with 64 samples, so I just have square samples enabled, so that's why it says 8, but really 64. Light bounces, I turned the transparency and transmission down to 1, probably could have been 0, but whatever. Um, performance, set it to 64 if you're on CPU and on GPU, uh, just set it as high as you can. But I'm on CPU, so 64. And then rendering. Uh, output, I did... For the main ones, I did 1920 by 1080, and then for this final one, thumbnail, I just did 1024. Um, for output, I chose multi-layer EXR, RGB, A, float fulls. That's what, so we can composite after we render all these out. And I rendered it to a to an image sequence in this folder. Render passes, I did combine and Z. Those are default. Then I also brought in the denoising data and the render time. I think it was like 25 minutes per frame. So yeah, it took a while, but whatever. Uh, and then I also passed through the environment, the shadow, and the ambient occlusion, and turn off denoising here so we can denoise in the compositor. And uh, that's pretty much it for render settings. So once you finish that, you can go to render, render animation, or hit Control F12, and then you'll be left with a. Uh, with an image sequence so of EXRs you can do this in both EV and um, EV and cycles so then in my compositing scene what I did is this is for the thumbnail this was for the main sequence so let's just plug this into the viewer node you need to add a image texture or, or my bad just an image in the compositing workspace and then you can just click open and then once you open it, change it to image sequence, set your start and end frames, um, and change this from composite to view layer, and that'll give you all these passes. And uh, compositing, I'm not really like great at it or anything, but I just did a little simple composite. So I started with, uh, this is the, here, let's pull up the viewer node. This is the combined, or just the regular pass. So the first thing I did it through was run it through the denoise, and that'll take away some of the noise, which kind of takes away from some of this bump texture. But I don't want to render with like, a, I don't know, 128 samples, or probably even more to get a smooth result that's still got kind of this bump preserved, this micro bump. Um, so I denoised it, and then I denoised the AO. And then I multiplied the AO over the image. So that'll just give us some more shadows. And then I took the environment texture, blurred it out by 50, created a vignette just with an ellipse mask uh, and a heavy blur. I mixed it. So it's this is like uh, in, in GIMP if you have this layer on top with 70, uh, like 74% opacity. That's basically the equivalent. So now we got a vignette with just like a little hint of the background. Then I toned down the whole thing. And then finally just added the alpha over node. And that'll put our image on top. And that's how I composited the images. And then for each image you can render them out. You can just press control F12 again. I rendered them as 8-bit PNGs um, RGBA. Probably could have just done RGB, save the channel. But either way, uh, that's it for rendering. Now we can upload these on ArtStation. We got a, you know, a good result. And then the other thing is, um, let's see, Sketchfab. 
you can upload your model to Sketchfab. So let me just log in real quick. All right, gotta blur that out. What the heck? All right, if you upload your models to Sketchfab, just use the uh, the textures we baked out, and that's what I that's why it was uh, important to render baked textures so you can put it in a game engine or show off your model or you can sell your model. But uh, yeah, that's it for the course. I hope you know if you follow along, I'm impressed. I hope uh, you're happy with your results. Send me anything you made. I would love to see it. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, leave comments and let me know if I should do anything next. If you're interested in any other tutorials, maybe another gun, I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments. Alright, and uh, that's it. See ya.